Ah, uh, yes, sir. Eric Lee here, and this is my YouTube show, which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. Also, this is my YouTube show, of Mental Oddball Shenanigans Running Through My Brain. It's EML 77 TV, episode 491. Um, but despite what's been going on and everything else, and, you know, a lot of frustrations have been going on, we found out that Tom Brady is not coming back to New England, Kyle Van Noy and Jimmy Collins also left New England, it kind of like, you know, puts a dent into our, you know, dynasty, so to speak, but, you know, so getting number seven is going to be a while, and it's going to be very, very tough, but you know what, thank you Tom Brady for six, um, for six Super Bowl rings, 20 glorious years with the Patriots, we have been dominant because of you and everything else, and uh, this will put Bill Belichick to the test, to see whether or not he can do it without Brady, and that's, and that could be a major, major thing, and if that's the case, it's like Jerry Stidham's our new quarterback, but if he does, if, but if he does pull a Belichick and decides to come back to New England, then great. Praise God. But, you know, right now, you know, he decided to move on. And I know it's been really, really tough and everything else. And uh, I, after what's been going on with the virus and everything else. And, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we, we got to – sometimes we feel like um, – sometimes we feel like we say this in 2020. 2020, you just made the list. I've always wanted to say that. All right, so – I'm on vacation again, and I made this vacation long before all this happened, all this chaos happened. So, possibly it was perfect timing on my part to take this vacation, you know. But you know whether or not you know, you know um, whether or not um, you know the mall is going to remain open or not. It's going to be something that um, it is. It is going to be. Uh, very difficult in these times, but we gotta get we gotta remain vigilant, stay strong. Don't go, don't do anything crazy. Just follow the proper protocol. Get if you decide to go out shopping, get what you want. Come back home. That's 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 what I usually do. You know, sometimes you know when I'm done work, I go out. You know, find a store, get what I want, go home. You know, I, I'm getting paid this Friday, so it's like because I can go out, you know, get money, and then all of a sudden, okay, get a few Amazon, eBay gift cards, come home. You know. And despite this, uh, the whole coronavirus going down, um, this whole thing, I've been getting packages from Amazon and eBay. They haven't stopped that, so that's a good thing. But still, but I decided to well to just relax and you know pull ba um, hold back on that until um, this whole thing well, gets gets curbed down, you know. And it is not going to be very very easy, you know. So but we still got we, we still got to find some way to keep ourselves entertained. I know it's been difficult. No baseball, no basketball, no hockey. <clears throat> the WWE decided to move all their shows to the Performance Center, and they still want to do this. They still want to entertain us. So a lot of people have been complaining about that. A lot of people complain about WrestleMania being still going on. Listen, they want to entertain us. Let them. We need a distraction. The WWE want to do it. Just be thankful and grateful that some some fun activities are still going on. Just be grateful. So thank WWE. I salute you and thank you. Stay strong. Be vigilant. Please, uh, please follow the front bar. Um, Please follow the proper protocol, guys. As when it comes to washing hands and all that, you know, and I think you and I think it will be good. You know, it, it has not been easy. You know, the first three months, you know, especially after what happened to Kobe Bryant and his daughter and their friends. After you know all, you know, after the Brady situation, he's leaving New England. Um, after all has been through the coronavirus, you know, that's that's the number one topic going on in the world right now. I mean, it's. You know, plus it's huge, you know, this is an election year, and that could be one of the main reasons why all this is going on. You know, all this is going on, they want to make sure, you know, they stay safe and all that. I mean, it's all, it's all, it's all a plan. It's all a master plan. But anyways, let's get away from that. Um, I'm really excited to, uh, I hope you guys saw my Big League Slugger Baseball, the first show, of, you know, first game, so to speak. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lot of exhibition games. That's going to be... I'm going to do a lot of exhibition games. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole full season mode. Just exhibition games, a lot of fun, and hopefully uh, you guys um, get to. I hope you like my first game, the um, the Dartmouth Dragons, which consisted of my me and my former Ruby Tuesday uh, comrade friends from from the Ruby Tuesday Dartmouth uh, restaurant that is no longer at the mall. Uh, versus the Orlando Rises all team NXT superstars. I'm going to make a team of Raw superstars, SmackDown superstars. Uh, I'm going to have um, um, a team with AEW superstars, which is going to be a lot of fun to do. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, the Jacksonville Elite, that's their name. Uh, the Manhattan Rawhides, that's what I'm going to call the team Raw. 
Um, the New Haven SmackDown. I'm going to keep the SmackDown name. That will have one. Also, I may have to change the name because it has a little, um, little character limit on on the on the game and everything else. And I'm doing a de- um, all actresses, female singers, uh, and, you know the the divas, and I got the all actors, comedians, and you know and male singers, the Hollywood Hammers. You got the Burbank Ballers, which would be all athletes from all the sports. Including baseball, Tom Brady's been part of that team because he is—he was drafted as a baseball player by the Montreal Expos. Don't forget that about that. And I'm gonna—I'm gonna add him, David Ortiz, Rob Gronkowski, who is gonna be at the Performance Center this Friday night on SmackDown. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of time on my hands here uh, during this vacation and what's been going on. I don't know if they're gonna shorten up my hours next week because. This whole thing could affect, you know, even the malls. You know, it's bad enough because we had what the last three out of four years. Uh, the last four years we had three malls closed down, not because of the virus, but because and they weren't doing it well. I mean, we we lost this. Um, we lost the Harbor Mall back in 2016. Last year we lost the Swansea Mall. Basically, earlier this year we lost the Galleria Mall, and and I think the coronavirus will probably close that mall down altogether. As a result, and now, um, as a result of all that, so, so I don't know what's going to happen next week when I get back to work. I will let you guys know what's going on. Um, it's going to be a very, a very surreal spring and summer. You know I mean, um, spring's already went out the window. No Easter, no nothing. And just, I mean, seriously. I mean, we got to find some way to get ourselves back on our feet again, guys. So it's not going to be easy, but we can do this. We can get through with this. We can, you know, I'm going to encourage, I'm going to do, I'm going to word of encouragement out there. Listen, if you follow the proper protocol and be smart, use wisdom, I think we're going to be, I believe we're going to be okay. I believe that, you know, everything's going to happen, but listen, we got to be smart. You know, sometimes you have safety first and all that. That's fine. I know because everybody's, can, everybody can be actually so happy nowadays, so. But, but we got to be well aware, you know, sometimes, you know, it is, most of the stuff that's happening is for our own good. What can you do? It isn't going to be very easy, but folks, we can, we believe, we believe, we believe, hallelujah, we believe, all right? We cannot, we cannot live in fear for the rest of our lives. That's all we're going to say. All you're going to say is, you know, you're upset and you want to say all sorts of vulgar things. But just basically say, 2020, you just made the list. That's all you got to say. Just say, you just made the list, and everything will be fine. You know? Just say, you just made the list. That's all you got to say. 2020, you just made the list. All right? A lot of things are going on. Hey, craziness happens. Ease up. I know a lot of people are frustrated. Okay, oh, they can't do that. They can't cancel our fun stuff and all that. Listen, it has to be done, but here's the thing. You know, listen... I understand your frustration that we need something entertaining to keep us on keep our minds off things. We got to be vigilant about this. And listen, we got listen. I got so many things I can do in here. I can read some books. I can play some. Video, I got I got many video games I can play. I got a library. I got I got DVDs. I can binge watch Power Rangers for God's sakes. I can. Uh, I got Welcome Back Carter, Batman, I, the old Batman, Adam West and Burt Ward. I got Pac Man, GoBots. I got movies upon movies. I, I got He Man, Shira, Voltron. Ghostbusters on DVD. I got MXC. Remember that show? MXC. I got Viva La Bam. I uh, and I got all this. I got ghost so things to do. You know, maybe I need to get off social media for a while, just to um, you know. But well, nevertheless, I'm going to try to bring some fun to you guys. Okay. Just remember, you know, gotta stay strong. Gotta hang in there, and uh, I'm trying to bring some humor. Hey, things happen. I'm in the '80s, man. Me in the 80s. You know, I never had, I never worried about this stuff back in the day, but now as an adult, yeah. But anyways, well, that's all the time we have on the show, and I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves, and uh, listen, we're frustrated, yes, but we, but we can, we can come together, we can make this, we can make things happen, we can make normality happen again. That's what we need. We need to get back to normality. Make normality happen. Let's do this thing, okay? I don't know how that's gonna be, but you know what? Let's just let's just uh, roll the punches. Let's uh, keep going. 
let's let's try to live our lives the best way we all how we don't go oh my god 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 easy stay calm Akuna Matata bro that's all you need to do we gotta be like more like Matt Riddle bro we can do this bro you know <laughs> bro that's a, it's a thing now how much fish could Bobby Fish fry if Bobby Fish could fry fish how much fish could Bobby Fish fry if Bobby Fish could fry fish? How much fish could Bobby Fish fry if Bobby Fish could fry fish? And how much fish could Bobby Fish fry if Bobby Fish could fry fish? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. I think we say that tongue twister a few times. Maybe that will help us relax and then have some fun. Praise God. What do I know? All right. I'll see you guys later. And remember, 2020? 2020? You just made the list. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. And uh, hopefully I'll bring some baseball action, baseball video game baseball action to you guys. All right. See ya. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.